Welcome back. Well, today is Wednesday, yeah. but this Friday, this day is set aside to recognize all those who have served in the military. It's Veterans Day. Yes, and because of their service, vets should be taken care of. They have special privileges, and they can, but they do need to show proof of their service. So Vietnam veteran Robert Stewart and Lucas County recorder Michael Ashford, they join us uh, this morning. So uh, an event uh, taking place this Friday, right? Yes. But, but you know, uh, all across our area, we know that uh, the University of Toledo, they're doing mm -hmm. a breakfast, mm -hmm. but uh, yes. you all have a, a, a piece of paper that y you're, you're, you're telling vets to come out and fill this out. Tell us what that is and why is it so important? Well, first of all, good morning and, and thank good you morning. for having us on. Yeah. And, and veterans Day is very important and very special and, and we're here to talk about the importance of veterans and how they uh, get their military benefits how they take care of their families and all the things that comes with that our, our official uh, in the recorder's office is that we want to make sure that veterans understand their benefits the first thing that the veterans have to do is that once they get their discharge papers come to the recorder's office and we'll document and file that that is to make sure that you get your benefits later on when you need them whether it's your VA benefits or just in case something happened to you you get your military benefits your burial benefits and all those and we're here this morning joined by our good friend Bob Stewart who's gonna tell us all the benefits that come with that yes good morning and you recently just went on an honor flight yeah, last uh, Monday. yes and about lots of, of other benefits you've received over the years well the benefits are like, like through divorce fire floods yeah. Uh, moving, mm -hmm. you tend oh, to lose wow. your paperwork and you say, geez, uh, now my dad's sick or my husband's sick. How do I get these benefits? And you're dealing with the government. Nothing's fast with the government. And you may lose out. He could die before you ever get that help. So it's pertinent to put it in the recorder's office. We all did it from Vietnam, World War II and Korea guys. And I'm mm -hmm. surprised at how many people don't do it. But I'm always telling them to get a home. You have to have a DD Form 214, your separation paper, or a DD Form 215, which is the addition of things. Because when you're getting out, you say, what do you want me to put on here? I don't care. Get me home. So you forget to put things on. But you yeah. just can't call them and say, put it on. You have to have documented proof. <clears throat> so you get that paper, which will give you your home loan, VA home loans. It will give you the medical benefits you had, and you can apply for disabilities at the VA. It's something that could be either service-connected or non-service-connected. But you have to have that proof. Yes. And the fine proof would be that certified copy at the recorder's office. Yes. This gentleman will put it up there for you. It don't cost you nothing to put it in. It costs you nothing to get it out. And say, Do you, oh, where is it? They usually have one foot on a banana peel and one in a grave, and they're asking for help. You're a little late. Do it now while you're healthy. Get that in there now and get yourself signed up at the VA. Get yourself signed a doctor and say, I want to be in this system. And if you have a problem, you can always call me. I'll just walk you through that system. <laughs> yeah. And that's 419-260-1722. And it's Bob Stewart. And I'm nobody special, but I was a commissioner in the county, a commissioner in the state, the president of the state association. I hold these positions to teach you and to show you how to do it right. Yeah, and Bob, sounds like a lot of paperwork. And when when uh, uh, people think about paperwork, mm. right, it, it just it weighs you down. Yeah. So talk yeah. talk it's, a bit about how you all assist these veterans. I, I'm glad you you brought that up. Right. It's really not a lot of paperwork, because all you actually have to do is that once you are discharged from the military, you bring in your discharge papers. We make copies of it and we document and we file it and we store it just to make sure that in case you move, um, because people are going to move and it may go 30 or 40 years, you may go to through two or three homes and it's time for you to understand where your military records are. All you have to do is call us. Now you can get copies of that in several ways, but the most important way is that if you live locally, you have to come in and apply for it and we can only give it to you by mail. If you're online, I mean, if there's a burial, and the funeral home can go online and we'll email them that information. But normally, even if you live out of town and you want to get a copy of your military records, all you have to do is download the information, uh, uh, send it to us, and we'll put it in the mail and send it to you mm. all free. Wonderful. No charge there. One other thing I'd like to add, if you do not have that DD Form 214, mm. As the president of the state, I had the director of uh, personnel records of St. Louis come to the state meeting. He explained about the fire, and he's saying, you fill out a form, and if they're charging you, it's not the right, mm. not right site. Yes. They do not charge you. They will send you that copy, and you apply for that, or personnel records, and they'll, you want to do it in a timely manner. 
Here's the thing we made when I was the president of Lucas County Veterans Service Commission. I made an agreement with them that you can call to get services and for your benefit. They will fax a fax simile to them to say, yes, he's qualified. And later you receive the DD Form 214, but you get the services immediately. Okay. So, so go to really the Lucas County Veterans Service Commission and they can make that connection for you. And we want to thank you for having us on, sure. mainly because no. of the fact, yeah, we do, because what happens, is, this is just a basic reminder to our military families, mm -hmm. and believe it or not, once we go off the air, our phones will go off the hook <laughs> today. Good. And, and you know, this is an annual thing for Bob and I. We go on every year around Veterans Day mm -hmm. just to remind people, and our calls go up maybe about 200% wow. okay, wow. for the next two days. So yep. we better let you guys get to it. My, <laughs> my heart says this, and Mike just jumped on the bandwagon from when I first met him, I promised God that I'll fight for those that cannot fight. Mm. I will run for those that cannot walk, and I'll scream for those that cannot talk who just let me survive this. He jumped in that bandwagon and make sure I can hold to that promise because <laughs> our veterans deserve everything. Absolutely, and we thank you for your service All as that. well. Thanks so for joining thank us. You for your thank you for being here today, and I'm uh, glad to get this information out for yeah. folks.